And starting at the Great Plateau Tower, we are here. We're going to head to the Outpost Ruins. Um, you may have noticed a slight change in lighting. That is because I think when I originally recorded this, I had to get up and leave my Switch alone for a few moments. So if it's a little jarring that I went from night to day so instantly, that was just an editing snafu. Don't worry about that. So you want to head over to Mitsuko's uh, journal here at the Outpost Ruins. I um, had to break up the monotony for myself because I recorded all of the side quests at once as one video. And then I'm just editing the portions I want into smaller videos, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, I do try to keep these as brief as possible because I know you, the viewer, just want to see the location of the items. But maybe some people just enjoy watching other people play games. I don't know. Whatever brings you here to watch, that's completely up to you. I'm all for you viewing my videos because that's what drives it. Um, I hid the eight priceless relics in Hyrule Field all over the place because I didn't read that fast enough. Armor worn by fierce phantoms, feared even by heroes, is hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these pieces at a battleground where these brave souls tested their skill. At ceremonial grounds where royal guards are honored and the ruins where soldiers of Hyrule gathered. So, that's going to be the Hyrule Garrison Ruins. And the Colosseum. And right here where the sacred ground ruins are and is of course where you can find one of the memories if you haven't found that yet. Spoiler alert. So. Okay. Uh, I doubled the speed of the video for most of my travel just because it can get a little boring for you guys. I know. I know how it is. And I figure the slower route, I was trying to avoid being seen by a guardian. I found a Korok. I really wanted to avoid having any battles. I know some Let's Players will take out all the enemies in an area, go back, and then record it so it's seamless. But, you know, I wanted to show them the more organic, more uh, natural way of getting these items. So that you understand as the viewer and as a potential item seeker what kind of mess you're getting yourself into because i just don't feel that's really showing the right way to find the items because you might go unprepared and especially in this area of the game where guardians are just everywhere both stationary mobile and flying yeah i just wanted to keep it <clears throat> keep it realistic for you guys so hey pal let me just shoot you in the eye a couple of times Show, you, show me your eye. And yes, I am using a Lionel bow. 32 times 5, I think it is. So there we go. And we'll just pull this up. Um, I wanted to do when I attain the items at a slower speed, but the editing got a little tedious. And, well. Alright. Let me collect these items real quick. See if there's anything else here. No. And away we go. I was going to take out this one, like, <clears throat> loading screen, but it was so brief that I didn't think it would matter too much. Sorry about that. I know some people get really irked when they see this screen, but whatever. It's it, past travel is part of the game. You just got to learn to deal with it. Um. So, we're flying over to the Hyrule Garrison Ruins, and I have no idea where it is in this area, so I just kind of wander around aimlessly trying to find it. Um, I tried paying attention to this Chica sensor, but the problem with the Chica sensor is every treasure chest in the area is going to make it ping, so I actually had to find each treasure chest, which is a drag. And, oh, I shot the horse. I feel so bad I shot the horse. Okay. So it's pinging. I must be close. 
I assumed in these larger ruins, because one of the uh, treasure chests was found in ruins like that. That's where I needed to be. And, oh, another... It, oh, okay. Gold durability, that's good. There is actually a white durability, which is platinum, I guess. Yeah, I've had a couple of those shields. They were nice. Very, very nice. Still not the Hylian shield, but very nice. Uh, if you ever notice that I'm not using the Hylian shield, it's because I try to save, you know, on using it just because it's 3,000 rupees to rebuy after you attain it the free way. So here we go. <clears throat> so you want to look for this uh, Guardian Remnant and do that. Do this. So you can see the item in all its glory. Oops. Yeah, I'll hit the wrong button a lot when I haven't played in a while. And when I played for this, I hadn't played in a while. I know my throat's a little gravelly right now. Um, I do get spring allergies. I, do, I develop a lot of phlegm and mucus. So I do cough a lot. I'm drinking water to help keep myself good. But it is what it is. So I was trying to figure out what would be the best pass travel point, And that would be here. So, and away we go. We're going to head there. And you're going to see me turn into the Flash. And because it's in the Colosseum Ruins, I was going to just um, edit out what's at the Colosseum Ruins. But I decided to leave it in the video. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Um, I decided to try out Majora's Mask because I heard enemies won't come near you. If you're wearing it, like, it makes you invisible to your enemies. And then, oh look, another Korok that I have missed many times. Here we go. Yaha! You found me! Um, I actually have about 400 or so at, that I have found without the Korok mask. Um, if I do any, you know, Korok hunting moments with the mask, I will definitely, you know say how many I found. I mean, it's not for nothing, but, you know, I have found 400 of them without the mask. I know some people found all 900 and the mask is irrelevant, but they get annoying after a while, don't they? Like, when you're hunting them, yahaha, you found me, yahaha, you found me. It's like, I need to take a break just from that. Oh, but play with the sound off. But someone was paid to make that sound, so you should enjoy it. Now, I noticed the Lionel saw me there. <clears throat> and I was a little perturbed. I was like, but, 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 I'm Majora. You, you can't see me. Alright, so we're returning to regular speed. And we're gonna get... So here it is. It's kind of hidden behind the columns. Oof. We're gonna do this. I like to know how his arrows are going into the air and then still hitting me. Like, going into the air and arching down. Like, I'm underneath... Like, his arrows are going through solid objects. He's not Mega Man. That's not possible. <clears throat> so, uh... Let's do... That. And we'll start equipping... Oh, excuse me. The Phantom Armor. Boom. In all its glory. Let's just unequip my items real quick. And get a look at it real nice like. That's how you knew Zelda was in like Zelda's ghost, her phantom was inside one of the armors because you know that that part would glow. Not too bad looking. Very monster hunter-y. So let's do this. And if you think I'm going to wear it to defeat the line now, you got another thing coming because it is a silver line now and it will eat me alive. With only 24 defense, no. Oop. Do you see how I got lucky not getting hit by those arrows? Like, that's just not something you can really chance. It probably is. Boom. And I'm going to beat him up just a little bit. And I'm gonna miss. Jump. Come on, keep doing it. Woo! 
because I am the one. <laughs> um, let's see. And he's gonna charge at me. There I go. Just gonna clobber him real good. I'm actually, for not having played in a little while, I actually think I did really good here with all the perfect dodges and everything. I think, you know, oof. So Daruk's all used up now. So I'm gonna, how do I parry? Okay, that's how I parry. And that's what I was doing there. All right, time to get on his back and stab him in the back. I'm glad at least the Lionel here will always have a fire sword, I think. Because I can't stand the ones with the Lionel Crusher. Although I like having the Lionel Crusher for myself. But. Let's see. Let's. I like to go up my defense when I fight. When I fight these guys, I just find it's <clears throat> a lot easier to deal with them. A lot of people like to go for the attack bonus. I say fortify the defense because I'm going to damage them no matter what. Oh, but you would end the fight faster. Yeah. I know I'm a little clumsy. I know I'm not gonna really do all the perfect dodges perfectly, so I'd rather just take the defense. Um, and if I really need the bonus for attack, I do have the Barbarian set. Which I don't think I'm at four stars with yet. He's gonna fireball. There we go. Now, I keep aiming for his head because obviously that's where the most damage is. And look, look at that parry. There we go. Oh, no. Um. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had that Feather Lance. Even though I was just talking about the Crusher, I'm going to go with the Feathered Oh, Feathered Spear, excuse me. There we go. Oop. And. I'll just stab him real fast. I actually liked the spears when I was playing earlier on in the game because they had good reach and <clears throat> I found the reach to be very nice and plus it was so rapid like you could rapidly strike I didn't mind the um oh and now the dog's barking I actually didn't mind the um less attack power because you know rapid strikes so that makes up for it and yes that is the dog Barking in the background. So, oop, time for that perfect dodge. And you can't quite change items, but I am going to switch to the um, wooden sword, and the dog won't shut up. So, just deal with hearing the dog in the background. I'm very sorry. So, she's actually barking at nothing. She, like, she's seeing herself in the reflection of the TV. That's what she's barking at. Herself. So, yeah, the line no plate. <laughs> um, I actually, like I said, I think I did pretty well here, considering I hadn't played in, like, a good two or three weeks. Um, so, I think we're nearing the end of the fight. So... I'll just start with, you know, thanking you for watching. It is amazing that you watched this long. Um, I do hope you enjoyed my videos. Make sure to like this video. You watch this long, you might have, you probably enjoyed yourself. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribing is awesome. And as always, you know, check out my other videos and go to Patreon to help support the gaming portion of this channel. As always, thanks again for watching.